All right, time to answer another letter. We have, I won't say the first name, but M. Cunningham from Pottsville, PA. And um, read this letter really quickly here. Okay, Brother Brian, this is June 17th, 2023. I have been greatly blessed by your ministry for some time now. I am a truck driver and have been able to listen to many of your sermons. It is evident to me that your faith in God's holy word, the KJV, allows you to teach it in such a way that it is actually uh, relatable to real life. It is very displeasing to me to hear a man preach and not be able to relate at all with the text. Thank you for actually laboring in the word and doctrine. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've seen some of these guys, um, some of these Baptist pastors I've met to and talked to them face to face. And there's just no relatability to the word of God or to other people out there, situations that you're going through. Back to the letter. Thank you for putting together your off-grid seminar. I've gone through all the videos and my wife has also gone through a few of them and we are taking steps to slowly move the, the direction of being debt-free. Well, praise the Lord. You are the only preacher that I have ever heard speak the truth about mortgages. It's a real shame that the church, in quotations, is supposed to be the pillar and ground of the truth, also in quotations there, but there is no Clear teaching coming from the pulpits about this matter. Never. You'll never hear it because the church buildings are mortgaged as well. <laughs> so on these pastors, I have never, no, I shouldn't say that. I've met one pastor that was debt-free. One. And he just kind of didn't really talk a whole lot about it and whatever else. And technically wasn't really debt-free from getting there without debt because they had had a house fire and their insurance coverage paid for the building of a new house and so it was paid for so uh, technically you're not really debt free but uh, yeah they won't they won't talk about it and you know as far as the whole off-grid thing you brought up a good point in your letter um, and to anybody else out there one of the purposes of going off-grid can just be to save money and get you out of debt um, you'd be surprised how much money you can save when you go off-grid um, we've saved a lot over the years. Uh, but back to the letter here. A short time ago, my wife had been doubting her, her salvation. She kept this from me until the day that she finally got saved. Being raised in church, she knew what to do, but found herself wanting to be sure. She told me that she searched for a salvation message on YouTube and your video came up. After watching it, she asked the Lord to save her. My prayer for my wife to have a deep passion to study the Word of God has been answered. Praise the Lord. That is, I always love to hear that. It's great. Um, that's why I do this. Um, I heard, I had heard a few different times about this group called Ruckmanites. I was uh, warned to avoid Peter Ruckman, and I even bought David Cloud's book, What About Peter Ruckman? I heard you mention his name in one of your sermons, and so I decided that I would actually listen to some of his teachings to try to disprove the heresy. After many hours of sermons, I developed a true love and devotion to the KJV. I had been almost persuaded into believing that it was just another translation. I greatly appreciate hearing Ruckman call himself the Lord's junkyard dog. Um, <clears throat> Ruckman is not perfect. And I've never been a, I've jokingly called myself a Ruckmanite because I know that anybody that says anything, it's close to what Ruckman teaches. Oh, you're a Ruckmanite. You got it from the teachings of men and whatever. Ruckman had all kinds of issues. Okay. And I don't cover those issues up. I'm not going to say, oh, he was perfect. Don't you dare speak against God's holy man. No, he had a lot of issues and a lot of things I disagreed with. I actually met him in person. Okay. Um, again, I'm not some hermit that, that never goes outside of the house here. Like it's like my enemies say about me. But I have his commentaries. I have a lot of his books. Whatever. Um, but you'll one thing you'll get from Peter Ruckman, in spite of his issues, he loves the word of God the King James Bible. And he wants to pass that love for the Word of God on to the people that listen to him. Um, that's why I still say positive things about Peter Ruckman and I give credit where credit is due. I did, you know, I have learned everything on my own. No, Ruckman taught me some things and uh, Sam Gipp taught me some stuff and, and uh, D.A. Waite and, and uh, you know, a lot of these guys. And I'll talk about them and, you know, you have to mature and get to the point where you say, okay, I've learned some things, praise the Lord for brother so-and-so and whatever else. Um, 
Back to the letter here. Not long ago, my wife and I were listening to one of your sermons, and she said that your style of preaching reminded her of a dog barking. <laughs> I laughed and thought you might enjoy hearing that and take it as a compliment. I do. Um, that was also a confirmation for me that we needed, and he says about uh, supporting the ministry there. But uh, yeah, I think that's actually pretty funny. I had somebody say the one time, you're not the Lord's junkyard dog like Ruckman was. You're the Lord's German shepherd. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good. So rough, rough. Uh, <clears throat> what a blessing it is to see a man willing to take the stand that you do for the word of God. Continue to fight the good fight of faith. May God bless you and your lovely family. I am praying for you. Thank you. And then he um, has his him and his wife listed there. And then their children. So uh, thank you very much for your letter. Very much appreciate that. Um, I love to hear about people getting saved. That's what it's all about. And um, so thank you. So um, to all those out there that watch the ministry, um, leave your comments down there below. Um, as I've said, I have to fight this YouTube algorithm stuff. So Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It helps the videos to get out there more. So that's going to be it for this letter. We'll move on to the next one. See you in the next video.